Hello, my name is Ernesto Machado, and today I'll be talking to you about QRules. QRules is intended for anyone who would like to leverage the power of Microsoft Office InfoPath without writing code. This growing library of commands allows developers to easily add functionality to their codeless InfoPath forms. The advanced commands included in QRules can be used via rules, thus avoiding the need to write code. During a previous QRules video demo, I showed you some features that allow QRules to integrate with Kadabra's Database Accelerator, or DBXL. During this video demo, I will present some QRules features that can be used with any InfoPath form because they do not require DBXL. Here you see a simple customer order form that I created for this demo. The first QRules command I wish to show you is called get error count. It's a very simple command that returns the number of errors in your form. In the case of this form, we have two required fields, customer name and phone number. Because they are blank, when I click the button, I will see that I have two errors in my form. So let's see what happens as I fill out this form. If I fill in a customer name and click the button, I will see that I have one error. If I fill in a phone number and click the button, I will see that I have no errors remaining. The second command that we'll show you is called copy table, and its name is self-explanatory. To demonstrate, I have entered a billing address for this customer. This button will execute copy table, thus copying the billing address into the delivery address. The third command I will show you is called sort table. To demonstrate, I have prepared the order details section with item names, quantities, and prices. We can sort according to any of these columns. For example, quantity, price, or item name. In this case, we are sorting our table according to one column, but sort table also allows you to sort on more than one column in case you have a large table. The fourth and final command that I will demonstrate today is called save to SharePoint. It extracts an attachment from your InfoPath form to a SharePoint document library. To demonstrate, let's attach an image to this control and let's click save to SharePoint. The image is extracted from the InfoPath form and saved off the SharePoint. The InfoPath form will show a URL to the picture's location in SharePoint. If I refresh the SharePoint document library, I will see that the picture that I have just saved is now stored in that SharePoint document library. While I have shown you what QRules is capable of, I have not shown you how it's done. This slide attempts to explain some of this magic behind QRules. You can see that the button labeled Copy Billing is executing an action that sets a field value, and the field that is being set is this command node in the Kadabra rules secondary data connection. The value that it's being set to is the actual command that we want to execute, copy table. Each QRules command is going to have a different set of parameters that we must provide. In the case of copy table, the first parameter is DS name source, which is the data source name and is only needed if you are copying from a secondary data source. Table source is the X path to the source table, while row source is the relative X path from that source table to the row. We have a similar set of parameters for the destination. The data source destination, again, it only needed if we are copying to a secondary data source. The destination table and the destination row. The final parameter, empty, allows us to clear the destination table before executing the copy. Now that you've seen what QRules is capable of, allow me to walk you through a step-by-step -step example that will illustrate how to inject QRules into your form and how to get QRules working. To start, open InfoPath and design a blank new form. Let's insert a text box and we'll call this our GUID. I will be showing you a command that we have not shown so far in this demo. Save the form to your desktop. And close InfoPath. Switch to the Kadabra rules injector and browse to locate your file. Click inject and QRules will be injected into your form. Now open your form in design mode and navigate to the data source 
you will see that there is a new Kudabra rule secondary data source, which has the command node that we will need to set. Let's add a button to the view. And let's double click on this button to open its properties. Change this to generate and click on rules. Click on add and click on add action. Pure rules works by setting a field's value. So select that as your action. From the field selector, we will select the secondary data connection for Kadabra rules, and we will select the command node. For the value, we will type in the command that we want to use, along with any parameters. In the case of this example, our command is generate GUID, and we will not provide any parameters for now. Click OK to close all dialog boxes. Double click on the text box we had added, and let's set the default value to the Kadabra rules result. Again, click OK to close all the dialogs. Finally, let's expand the size of this text box so that it shows our entire result. Let's preview the form, and let's click the Generate button to execute the rule, which will give us our unique identifier. Although in our example we have used the default format, Generate GUID actually has four possible formats, which you can see in this slide. QRules also has operations that serve to enhance forms that are used with Kadabra's Database Accelerator, or DBXL. This includes commands that allow you to submit an XML document to the DBXL web service, assign a document to a user, and also assign status to a document, and extract image or file attachments to a separate DBXL form. For more information, or to obtain a free version of QRules, visit our website at kadabra.com and click on products. Thanks for watching the Kadabra QRules video demo.